Good morning. Hello and welcome back in another live in another morning tea talk. I hope that you but in Zahra Eid Mubarak Said like like uh, happy Eid to you as well. Continuous Kunobi here and I hope that you enjoy your day. I hope that the weekend was good for all of you. How was your weekend? Okay, where is the other student? I haven't like shared on WhatsApp group or done. Okay, so basically yesterday I put a video on like renting um renting in Morocco is either like renting a house or renting um you know a small apartment and all of that. So I said like I'm going to answer any question according to that or any other question. Basically because the morning tea talk is about everything considered Morocco, is about the culture, is about language, about people, uh relationship and all of that. So if you have any question, go ahead and ask. I will be uh, very happy to answer. You still like in plastic? And Salam I hope you're doing good. So today I have my morning tea with mint, but not in um, uh, Moroccan glass. Dana Banana, I love that name. Salam, Leva Salik. Laid does Mzian, Zef Dil Makla, Zef Dil Hem. And as usual, you know, Moroccan family, they will like force you to eat because they love you and uh, I don't want to upset them and I just like eat and they end up getting like one kilo in like three days. I don't know why it's like easy to gain weight, but like it's hard to lose it. <laughs> so yes, uh, basically the aid was amazing. Like uh, even though it was like not as like uh, the aids like the previous years because of Corona and all of that, it was a little bit stressful, and um, and it was like really. Um, it's like it was a little bit like not the same but still like we enjoyed it like we spent it with the family even though like um some places they say like don't like visit anyone <laughs> but i still like um i spent it and everything is meat everything like morning and in the morning we eat meat like uh we call it bull fat it's like i think in uh, english you call it kebab and uh, in the, the, the lunch, we still eat anything by, by meat. Like, it should be just like red meat. And then dinner as well. And you can imagine. Probably like the whole week. That she lived with a Zain and Khalik. Salama. Inshallah. I know you, Inshallah. Blood, I love your name. Shukran. Shukran. So yeah, basically, like it was like for me, it was like a break. It's like a good break that like just like to spend it with family and just like enjoy it and enjoy the food and you know Moroccan food is very delicious. So like we had to enjoy it. <laughs> well, uh, basically, like I yesterday, I as I said, like I put like the um, a video on like renting in Morocco. Renting in Morocco, I can't say just like one price. I just I can't like say it's like cheap or expensive. It depends on where you go. In Morocco, everything is um, either like very cheap or very expensive. You can find in between as well. It depends on what you are looking for. Uh, for example, big cities, of course, as any country in big cities like um, like over here, like Rabat, Casablanca, Marrakesh. Uh, Tanja, like you find like expensive uh, rent because it's like in a good area, it's safe, it's beautiful and all of that. And you will find like job opportunities and good, everything is like good. If you go to like, mm, like um, middle like so cheap, you will find it like a little bit like cheaper. If you went like, for example, to a poor area, of course, it's going to be very cheap. So, but it's still like uh, you were like maybe like scared of like uh, security because there is like, of course, like no security over there. Uh, it depends, but 
you know, it's just like uh, it depends on what you need on your budget. If you need like a beautiful place, of course, you're going to like pay extra for it. Uh, but like, for example, the um, normal price, you know, that's not like very cheap, not very expensive. It goes like between like, um, it's like something like this for month. Uh, that's like going, for example, in Tamara near Rabat, like that you're going to find like a new, you know, like a good, like, um, you know, like a good apartment, like in a good place with that price because Tamara is not that expensive. Tamara is like, if you don't know that city, is like near Rabat because rent in Rabat is expensive. So if you go to Medina in Rabat, it's not that expensive. You will like find like a, like a big, house or like you know like um i'm not talking about like empty ones so for that it could be like empty but like for example like if you want like a furniture like a like house it's going to be expensive for example just like the small one in like robot like Agdal, like nice area you will find it like something like this probably starting from that there are which is of the zero if you are like uh, counting on dollar or something or oro. So in oro is like kind of extra, is like uh, 300 and you know. So yes, so that's like what we get you something like this. It could be like more, it's like way more for if it's like bigger. Tef Marina, Samir, Dabaf, Saif, and Dakshi, Darm, Ziuna, Bersh, Midrahim, Kulnhar. You don't call her it be like near in the beach do do like rent by day for example if you want like to rent every day and pay for it it could be between like my 100 dirham or like 200 dirhams depending on like um where you go You talking about Tanji because if it's like a more like a rabat marina is go, is not going to be that cheap. It's like in a way, it depends if it's like something like small. But yes, if uh, like I'm just like trying like you know one with like a garage or something, it's going to be like a one thousand dollar like seventy six meter, um, you know, in a nice place. It could be like like. Let me like write numbers so that you can see. So that like going to be the price for a good place, but not like too big. It's just like to have like an idea, but overall you're going to find anything you need. Like I just like look for Samsa or just like go look for by yourself. Samsa is like <laughs> a rental agency, but like not all of them are good ones. <laughs> <laughs> just be careful. So if like someone really like watch Bobiti Samsar, Wesh Bobiti Samsar is like a uh, rental agency. Sometimes they are like uh, really bad because they just like want money. And uh, just, just like sometimes try your best to look by yourself or just like for look online. It's okay to look online and all of that. And or just like walk around. <laughs> if you know like if you have like a Moroccan friend, uh, to just like with look with you, it's going to be you know. Yes, absolutely. But you know that's like not like for people who have like a like normal salary. That's not going to uh, be a good price for people with normal salary because normal like salaries in Morocco like I'm just like seeing the minimum wage. I'm not talking about like minimum wage is like between like um, two hundred like two hundred and fifty dollar up like till like uh, one thousand dollar depending on like what's your job so for normal people they can't like afford that of course so do we just go for like a really like um you know cheap cheap areas yes absolutely especially like in like some places in Rabat. So, okay, so the places in Rabat that's it's like very expensive. I would like write them like Agdal in Rabat, Agdal. There is uh, Hay Riyadh, Hay Riyadh. So this is like places in Rabat that is like really expensive. If you're going to look for it over there, uh, Swissy. 
Swissy, uh, this is like three major places that like is going to be expensive for you. Uh, but like if you want like for medium but still like nice place, you can look for Hassan area. So it's like near tramway and all of that. It's going to be like a, like a little extra, but it's like safe, but not like too expensive as the first three. So I'm just like giving you an idea if you're going to go to Rabat. Uh, for example, Medina is going to be cheap and still safe. Medina is going to be like really cheap and and definitely in Malik Arab. <laughs> no, hundred like uh, dollar. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking for real. Actually, I'm talking for real. It's like some some people like pay like for extra. I know like some people like renting like um, villas, like big houses, and it's like it's crazy expensive. And it's making me wonder what's their job because. I don't know, like, like the kind of job that you can pay for, like, one thousand and five hundred or like two thousand uh, dollar per month, because I don't know what kind of job are working, which is crazy. But for sure, I know, like, some journalists they getting paid very good in uh, Morocco. Uh, doctors are okay. Uh, engineers depend if your family is already rich. <laughs> But if you are working as a teacher, if you are working, um, you know, it's just like in like uh, offices and stuff. So that's like something like for for us like is medium. But if you are just like doing like, um, I don't know, you know, just like like working for yourself, it's not like as good. <laughs> Honestly, yalla si Muhammad Yes, but the beach is always like is, is always like um cheap to like rent like in the, in the in the beach and stuff. But it's going to be very cold there in the winter. Yeah, I, I just like I gave you idea if you are like going to Rabat is like Agdal Hayriad and Swissi is very very expensive and everyone know that. Uh, Hassan, Medina is going to be, Hassan is like in the medium. Medina, you can find something. I just say I'm going to advise you that. Uh, either like go for Hassan or Medina or uh, what's called that the other place, I forgot. Um, like near like Sahat, Russia. Sahat, Russia. So that's like going to help you actually because if you are like going to go to Rabat and Rings over there, at least like you have the name of the areas and you would know like what is expensive, what is not. And you can just like Google the place, go there and ask like actually like we like if I was I did not want to use the Samsar, you know, the um, rental agency, I would like just like ask uh, security guards and I'll be like, oh, do you know anyone like want to rent like the house around here? Either like for like, this is like what Moroccans do. Do you just like go and ask like Mulhanud, like the store owner and say like, do you, have you heard anyone like want to rent their house like around here? <laughs> Sometimes it does work. It's often works and it's really normal. It's not like something strange for us, at least for us, it's like really normal to do that. And yeah, they take, they don't take much. I think like 5%. I think that's what it gets. Is the Wi-Fi bad? Because I did not sit in my normal state, like place, so I'm just like a little bit far from the Wi-Fi. So yes, so uh, the rent they are taking five percent. Absolutely, Fatim Zara. Like uh, you know, my handouts is uh, my favorite person because if i'm lost like honestly like i'm Moroccan. if i got lost like in a new place i will just go to mulhanut i'm not going to ask people because people sometimes like uh, they will like uh, give you a wrong direction so uh, what you do just like go to mulhanut or if you find a cop or someone like um like a policeman like they are not going to lie but people sometimes they feel like shy uh, to say like I don't know the place, so they will give you the wrong direction and wrong answers. So what do you do? Just go to Mulhanut, the store owner, and ask him. He does know everything. He know everything. I love them for that. So I just like go and ask them. Oh, where should I go if I want to go to that place? Do you know where is this? And do you know like basically do know everything? It's like um, it's just amazing. <laughs> 
so yes, like um, he's like kind of like my hero, like Hanut Owners. Okay, so time for questions. If you have any question, please ask me. So I can like answer. I, I talked about like pricing, like you find like, a, you can find like a cheap price, um, for example, 100. But like maybe this is like um, going to be, so this is like dirham, so it's like $150 almost, like maybe a little bit more. Uh, if you go into ship area, maybe you will find like this or less, especially if you just like in like two people and just like share the range, it's going to be even better. So you can find any price basically. Nothing's like surprising me. So yes, I'm up for questions if you are having any question. Clues, Mjdud. No, no, it's misdood, but like, uh, but people in the north, they say this is, is misdood. Are the house of furniture or totally empty? You find what? Most of like, uh, like, um, you know, foreigners, when they try to rent, they try like, to rent like houses furniture. Of course, it's like extra money. That's like why it's expensive. Like, because the ones that I give is like mostly like they are furnished. Uh, but they are empty, it's, of course, they are like, um, uh, it's like cheaper if they are like totally empty. But like, then you have to deal with, uh, if you are like going to stay long term, yeah, that will be good. Yeah, I see people in the north saying which dude. Yeah, I did hear that as well. That's why I said like in the north they say that. Uh, I don't know why, but they use the jet sound a lot. But everyone in the rest of Morocco, they seem stood and they say stood. <laughs> I don't know why. Yes, for them, Zara is like, um, uh, I think like nowadays, like the most like rings, like um, furniture one, because everyone starts to ask about it more than the empty one. But like for people who like stay long term, like uh, mostly they get like uh, empty one and uh, they just try to get furniture. Going to Akia is like, uh, it's not as cheap, it's expensive. But it's good quality. If you go, I, I would just like, oh guys, I would just advise you to go to Medina. Everything you find, everything in Medina, around the Medina, you find like prices and all of that. Um, it's like Casablanca. In uh, Casablanca, there is Akia. There is another one in uh, Rabat, but not like the real Akia. I think it's called something else. And then, متأكد متأكد uh, without the متأكد like this متأكد like I'm sure ah uh, yes the uh, Kitia yes the Kitia there is like one in Rabat I never like visited but I went to Akia in Casablanca it's absolutely amazing it's like beautiful and all of that of course the prices are extra sometimes like in some you know but it's like really good quality so it is like a huge Akia in like uh, Casablanca. It is like uh, Kitia in like somewhere in Rabat. I never like uh, went to see it, uh, but it's not the same quality as in Akia. Still, you will get like something good from it. Yes, متأكد. Because we, we don't seem متأكد. It's like متأكد. Yes. It's still like متأكد. Is the eh sound eh eh? For me, I would like also like because I don't like I already told you that I don't like the number two. <laughs> when writing it, like I would like write it as an etiquette, but it's even number two that the eh sound eh. But never with the word number three, never. Yes, absolutely. This is how we write the Arabic script. Mit'akkad. Mit'akkad. Mit'akkad is like, I'm sure. And I'm t'akkada, if you are talking, like, you're talking as a female, for example, I would say, and I'm t'akkada. Like, I'm sure. I'm t'akkada. Okay, yes, guys, do you have any more questions?
بلانكا متأكدة <تصفيق> أنا راغبة راغبة Yes, I'm like I'm wanting, like more of like wanting, like from the heart, like wishing and hoping and wanting. It's like all the three of them, like in once. Uh, we don't use this as often, unless if like we really like um, like wanting something. And uh, for example, an araba and master or something. Yes, but Rabba, like, it's like more than wish. It's like wishing and hoping something that you really, really want. And then we will use it. But we don't use it as often, to be honest. And عندك صح اسم as عندك الحق which means like you're right. You are right. We normally write it like this. عندك صح It's like when number seven is hat sound. عندك صح is the same as عند الحق is equal your rights okay you can say عندك الصح عندك الحق it gives uh, the same meaning okay uh, somebody tell me uh, انتنا عندك الرغبة oh yes uh, that's it, good. And I'm excited to learn the language. Yes, um, you have the like the the wanting, like you. I this is the way to do when you something like you really want to. So you have like the desire. You really really want like, to learn the language. So you have like like that like you know the desire when you want to do something for sure. You just like be like very excited and wanting to do something. So this is how we use it. This is why I told you it's not like just like wish and it's not like just like hope. It's not a hope, it's not a wish, but it's combined with like, you know, just like loving something and really wanting to do it. So yes. So instead of like really like Blanca, we don't use always like the whole sentences. So that's like, if I will tell you like what he means, he means like, Intina and the Karagba Bash Jalmi Longly. And uh, so instead of like saying it twice, because he already mentioned Darija in the second part, like the like second sentence, he just like said like Rabba in the beginning without like using Bash Talam or something like that. Or something like that. What is Minitik and Zmil? <laughs> Joanna, magnetic, magnetic is like, uh, are you serious? I love this word, like, it's like my favorite, like, because I use it all the time. Whenever, like, someone like disappoints you or just like say something crazy or doesn't make sense or, you know, just something bad real or anything, I was like, magnetic, are you serious? Magnetic, magnetic, just magnetic, are you serious? Magnetic, magnetic, just like try to say it as much as you can, magnetic, and, uh, the second word is actually very, very like bad word. Um, I don't know if I should say it like uh, like um, <laughs> I probably should to tell you that like in the WhatsApp group, in the girls group. I'm just going to explain that because it's like a bad word. Uh, but I would say I'm trying to find the proper words to explain it. Gosh, it's like uh, I, I can't find the right words. Like the proper words, like depending on one. Yeah, but uh, yes, just like I'm going to uh, like explain what that means in the WhatsApp group. <laughs> yes, guys, do you have any questions? There is like two of them. Actually, I'm going to write it in the groups. Like I'm going to copy so I would not go forgot. Like where is what's up? Uh, yes, but like for now, if you have any question, I am just like writing like too many things in the group, so I uh, I will like. Remember, uh, 
Then I'm not in the group. Oh, um, uh, okay. So you just like send me your number. I'm going to add you in the WhatsApp so that like we can explain that. Mnetic or mnetic? Mary is the same. It's just like people writing different, like differently. Like from, so, mnetic you can write it like uh, either way, but not mean. Is min mnetic? Mnetic. Uh, it disappeared from my my uh, from my mind. It disappeared from my mind. It's like that, like Mishat Minbali, is like went away from my mind. It's me like it did not cross my mind. It's just like forget it. So it's something like just like you forgot it. And I said, oh gosh, I forgot this. Which is like Mishat Minbali, which is like it disappeared. Yes. Try to Google it. Oh, you, I don't know, like if you find it uh, in Google, but um, uh, you know, Joanna, if like you have my Gmail, and I would like send you the blank WhatsApp group over here. Yes, uh, either like send me your number, but for Zahra, I think I already have your number, so I'm going just like to send you the link. But Blanca, like you just like, yeah, just like uh, copy the link over here, and everyone want to join. Uh, can join. Okay, so okay, so I did. I think I found like the good words like to use. So Zmilti is like came from the word from this word, and this word is mean like day, but in a bad way, not in a good way. And because we do use the word gay in a uh, good way, but like when we, like in that way, like uh, that you told me, jo like uh, Joanna, it's created as a verb, which means like you become gay, but not in a ba bad, good way. It means like you had like um, uh, <laughs> the drive as like gay people, like just like doing bad stuff or like saying bad stuff or something like that. So it's not like a good word, like really. So yeah, I hope that I, like, I give you an idea but it's just like I give you the noun where it came from. So the one that you gave me is a verb, which talking about like that someone like you become like something, but like not like you become gay, but like you like doing or thinking or do something like strange is about like strange thing, like se sexually strange um, in a bad way, if that like makes sense. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't say it like on live. I said this in the group. That's why the thing is I don't know who's watching like the live. It's gonna be kids. It's gonna be like someone who's like like um, yes, Joanna. If you know that like the word that word is like we already like it's like it came from that word. It's like um, that's the verb for it. So yes, that's why I could not say it. If I know it's like just girls, it's just others, I would like just say it. But the life is like stays there and uh, it could be even anyone's like watching. <laughs> I mean, I'm really like thinking about things in like, like um, you know, just like educational purpose and all of that. But some people just don't understand. It's just like they will like just feel offend offensive, like um they would just like feel uh weird or something. And heck weird or You can just like a second heck miracle safi without like using the recrassic. Just like laughing with you and that's it. Yeah, na alpha, like I know, just like explain for others because Sometimes just like some, like Moroccan is like really hard to deal with. Like not like for me, I'm like, you know, just understanding everyone, all of that. But some Moroccans are really like, they feel offensive. That's why I'm advising you if you are like really just uh, going to Morocco, uh, get to know the person first because you don't get all the humor and sometimes they just feel offensive for everything. And you might just like be laughing with them and you will just like think that you are like serious. And also their humor is like different. It's like, um, it's just like a big topic, honestly. Um, I, I, I am myself like a Moroccan. I've been here like 
living here my whole life, but I still don't get all Moroccans. So whenever like I meet someone new, I have like to get to know them like a little bit and see if they are like um, taking any kind of humor. Are they like, uh, you know, just like um, we'd be open to talk about everything or not. Even for me, it's a bit hard like to just to, you know, understand Moroccans. They are really hard to understand. Uh, this, they are like full of surprises. On this blog, the person wanted to do a post about bad words, but the admin didn't want that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, I'm in the admin of in my group. I am okay with that. Uh, the reason why I'm not doing that, like, live is because, like, people get offended, and I am just want to be respectful to everyone. Because there are some people who are, like, very religious, and they don't really believe in bad words or even knowing them. I think it's, like, good to know because you want to understand what people are saying to you or what's happening in the streets and all of that. So that's, like, why it's important. Yeah, exactly, Joanna. I just like saw your comments. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> exactly, Blanca. It does help a lot. Joanna, as you grow up, you're not at Yes. Just sometimes Morocco suck very loud, and sometimes it looks like they are fighting, but. Maybe because I don't understand the meaning. No, for them, Zara, that's like I tell my students all the time, like when I was like teaching. Uh, the reason why we speak loud is because our language like really makes us talking loud is uh, because we don't have, we have like pro sounds and we have, um, you know, like uh, we really have to say some things like for like in a force, especially like the sounds that you don't have as an English speaker, like the ka and ha and uh, and all of that so we really have to open our mouth and when you when it happens that you open your mouth it's like the, like the voices become like louder and we have them in every word so the sentences like become very loud so it just like happens that we have to speak loud to pronounce things correctly so when i teach like uh, english speaker i teach them that because when they start like speaking as an english speaker they just like using their mouth and they don't open their mouth which is like it makes it like uh, that's what makes the accents and that's what like it makes them hard to pronounce things. I feel like so oh, this is hard because they don't like really saying things like um, as loud as like in an open way. And this is the way we speak loud. And this is why English speakers don't like um, they have they still have the accent when they speak in Darija. And um, it's like the reason why they find it hard. So when you learn like uh, how to like just you know. <laughs> Yeah, you shouldn't be shy. Like, like exactly. Like, I just like to them. Like, okay, just like if you don't know how to pronounce something, just like have like a big laugh and say it while you are like talking like and laughing, and it will sound as a Moroccan. That's it. It's going to help every time. And of course, like when we say like uh, speak like another language because we are used to talk loud. Uh, we just like talk loud in English and on, on, on other language because we are just used to it. You rarely going to find someone who speak like slowly or like speaking like um, you know, just like like as a normal people. We just not. <laughs> that's not us. We are very loud people, and that's like for sure. Um, but yeah, just like, uh, and sometimes because like we are overly excited when we talk to people, we are always like talking loud. It's like just weird. You might like just like people like really like talking on the phone and you can like, like hear everything. Even the people who are on the phone, we still like hear them. And that's the reason why I never like speak on the phone outside because I know like I can't speak that slowly. And um, yeah, I'm get, get you with that. <laughs> But I do like I find it normal because um I I do understand why we doing that. Like some people just say like oh we just speak loud, but I know the reason why. It's just like the it's like because of our language makes us like speaking loud. We have to. Okay, yeah, I know some Moroccans doing hand gesture even on the phone. Uh, the person on the other line will not see the hand gesture. We are used to our talk with our hands. I don't even know like what to do with my hands when I'm live 
because I'm used like, to talking with my hands. Like we are like, uh, even if we are on the phone, we just like, it's a habit. It's like just a habit. And I would be like, um, you know, just like, I feel like I have to do something with my hands. I'm always clicking or something and something like happen. And uh, it's just like, because I said like, we are very excited when we talk and we are like, really like wanting like to just like to share ideas on what's happening. So we just like use our hand gestures and they are really important. Actually, you can understand people, what people say is just by hand gesture. For example, if I saw like my friend like uh, across the street and I am in hurry, maybe I'm talking on the phone, I'll be like, ah, and I'll be like this. And this is like me and like, how are you all doing when? And I will be like doing this. It's me like, I'm all right, thank you. And it's me, I'm all right, and I'm thank you. And it's like just from like next to your heart because we have our hearts here. It's me like, from my heart, I'm doing good. And I hope that you are doing good. So this like just having meaning as well. For example, if my mom like, um, she's my rest in peace. Uh, I forget. It's just if she did that, it's me like I'm going to beat you up. It's, of course, she's not going to do that. Like, but like it's me like you know, just shut up. And if I was like uh, in a family gathering, for example, and I I'm saying something I don't supposed to say, she would be like, and it's me like zip it. <laughs> And just like the little things, or like this, it's mean shuma. It's mean like that's inappropriate to say it, shuma. Uh, so yes, let me see what like I said, Moroccans have a lot of hand gesture and for saying shuma or saying and and for saying a lot of things. Yes, we exactly. We have a hand gesture for everything. You can understand like people in the street, like strangers, just by hand gesture, and. Oh, which is great, actually. How many kisses is in Sadr when you uh, see another lady? Three kisses. Most of the time, three kisses. Some people, like, go for four. It goes, like, one, two, three. Some people, like, add number four. <laughs> and it's become, actually, it's, like, become, like, very awkward, like, when, like, uh, it's just, like, going this way and they go this way. And if you don't know, just, like, stay and let them take the lead. So that you're not going to fall in like awkward situation, which which has happened often, and it's become like very weird. Like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> it's just like normally it's three kisses uh, on the cheek. Uh, if it's like um, some people like go for like the four. But I think that's what's make like. Um, things unique because if like it's just like the same thing the same culture as like other cultures it's going to be very boring because they are just used to it but when you just like um go to a new country and you find like something like different it's like very enjoyable to learn as oh they say saying that's because of this and uh, we don't have that or there is similarities or there is difference that's what makes like um cultures are beautiful that's what makes you know uh, people like enjoying uh, the stain in Morocco, in any other country, honestly. Every country has something specific about it. Yeah, for men, like, uh, uh, and uh, something like I found funny, like, uh, someone told me, like, I think a guy told me that before, as he found it very weird that a man, like, uh, like, kiss him on the cheek, like, uh, as, like, to say hi, which is very common in Morocco, it's, like, very normal, like, they might, like, um, you know, pat you on the back, in the back or like you just like go for kisses and he said like this is like looks gay to do that like that's so weird i was like no 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 that's okay that's okay <laughs> and yeah it was, it's like so weird but like culturally for us it's like very normal how to say the negative for uh andy my cash 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 andy for you yes Yes, uh, you already wrote them. Like I just like write actually read like the first question. I, I like I answered and I read the second one. Yes, ma kanch andi and ma gai konch andi or ma gai konch andi for you as uh, in the north is yeah, so you you can say yeah. I mean, I love like different things about Morocco. Uh, honestly, maybe like I love Morocco, Morocco more than Moroccans. <laughs> Morocco as a country is like beautiful. It like, seems like need like, um, um, it's getting like better and better like because nature is amazing already. 
the weather is amazing already but like some streets like need like to become like even better and stuff uh for moroccans they are like amazing friendly like um they are like uh, having like the hospitality and everything and they are like very generous and all of that the only thing that like it's needed is like to be open-minded and understanding other people culture uh which sometimes they don't understand and they just like want to give their ideas and not listening that's like what's with me they don't like listen often they just want to talk but not it's good to talk that's like fine it's like really amazing to talk but at the same time like listen to the people and just like um just sometimes like for me like uh like keep your <laughs> like keep like your like how would they say it? like keep your idea to yourself because sometimes you just like oh you have to do this you have to do this like give us another advice and that's it like don't like um because sometimes when like this way i tell like avoid talking about religion because whenever you talk about religion they would try to convince you oh this is what you have like islam is best yeah of course i'm muslim i love islam and all of that but people like when they want like to become muslim uh they will like read about it if they want an advice or ask you they will ask you if they don't ask you why you have to say like things to them i know like um why they like, do that like by sometimes just like understand um that people like um they are here maybe like for visiting and all of that not like um for you to give them like how to say it like um essay on why you should be a muslim what do you mean um this sounds very weird to me the same it's like uh it's like I would not say my conchendi. I would say magadi shi konendi. Magadi shi konendi. For example, magadi shi konendi lwaqt semana jaya. I wouldn't have time, or I won't have time next week. So I would say magadi. So for the norm, not everything in the north they say it's like word to me anyway. So if it does not make sense, like like uh, word to you, uh, probably that's like right because. I don't live in the north, but and I don't use. I do understand that they use things differently, and say things differently. But like um, probably, like you have to say magadish, magadish, magadish. You can end the words because probably we don't use the the, the short form. For me, I would like use the short form and say magai konsh endi, magai konsh endi, but like it's still not with the a sound, like never with the a sound for me. Which verb have the same form as ND? Can you give us a few numbers? The north is Tanji. Yes, Tanji, uh, Husayma, not Husayma, like Tanji, Tituan, and yes, is, is uh, north. Mm. I think it's just ND. I don't think that's. I, I have no, I have like no other examples now. Like my mind is not like as open as nighttime. I'm like, you know, I'm not owl. And I, I, I wish like if I keep like the night lives, <laughs> the Deja Coffee Talk, like in night, I do miss it because I'm most active during the night more than in the morning. And I haven't had breakfast yet. So I still have enough energy, but not at night time. It's weird that I wake up tired, but I like end up at night very energetic. <laughs> yes, it's like, so weird. Like um, I kind of like it's like uh in the morning, I, like I get tired, my like my head is like hurts, and I still like do wake up early. It's like still like for me like if like when you love something you just get up and do it anyway like whatever like it's like you can see my eyes are really like 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 i'm high or something because i haven't had my coffee yet i'm just drinking tea so i look very weird salam <laughs> <laughs> thank you anna you have a blessed day as well Okay, questions, question, questions. I want like, to answer as go as much question, uh, questions I can before I start my day. Um, yeah, it's late for. Okay, Alash, Maftar Sheikh Belay. Ah, I 
the reason is like I we eat like a lot of meats like the past like three days and I eat meat like last last night like uh probably at 9 p.m. and normally I have my dinner at 6 p.m. and I had like dinner late and I eat like a less fat <laughs> I eat like um what you, like what you call in English like kebab like uh, red meat and I'm still like very full but hungry at the same time if that makes sense I wanted to eat and I didn't feel like eating but now I feel hungry but kind of like my belly that sounds like it doesn't want anything if that makes sense so I want to eat I'm hungry but I don't want anything which is weird <laughs> Uh, and the collection as seven yes when I have like a uh, land like dinner like uh, at 6 p.m study Shia is early yes quickly but it's like um, I feel more energized and I get like time to drink coffee after it and all of that uh, but if I had like lunch uh, like dinner like late at like um like nine or ten like I just like sleep not comfortably and I just like wake up not as happy as this. <laughs> كنت عشا مع العشرة أنا كنت عشا مع العشرة لا أنا كنت عشا مع ستة أغلبية ديال الوقت لكن the majority of time كنت عشا مع ستة أه ولكن العائلة ديالي like my family كيت عشا شوية مع تلين they have like dinner late and um, it is not I don't know I don't know what's good what's not but most of Moroccans like do have sorry they do have like dinner like very late most Moroccans they have dinner either at like between like eight till like uh, midnight, and which is like very normal. Lana Maghribiya, Maghribiya, kat shrab al qahwa, kat 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 tashem asta. You know, it's just like give me like uh, I feel energy. Like I just like I experienced many things with my body and stuff. Just like uh, waking up early, if like uh, beside or like uh, you know staying up the night. For me, I'm already like a night owl, so I like I love snacking. Okay, <laughs> So it's just like what works for me. Because if I eat like late, I feel like very heavy. If that makes sense, makes sense. Hamtini a blanca, hamtini. But like also because I do have classes during the night and uh, it's like started like from I was like like being live during the night and I feel hungry and uh, like I just like eat um, like late lunch and then I feel hungry and I eat like a, like an early dinner then I finish the classes and it's just become a habit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I, this is like actually is a saying that we say when someone's crazy but don't word like or the words crazy and um, they are still know that they are crazy. They will say like and I'm Sophia, and I'm Sophia, Meshi, Hamka, which mean like I'm crazy, not crazy. Which mean like I'm just like <laughs> it's something we say. It does not make sense. But like msatiya and hamqa is like good meaning crazy. And some people they just say like, ah, ana msatiya mashi hamqa. And just meaning like, like they would like say the same thing as you said, but in a different way. But the, the both of the adjectives are the same. Okay, guys, do you have any more questions? Because I'm really like getting hungry and uh, I started like to see twice of things. <laughs> But yes, I'm going to try to make more videos, inshallah. And um, I did like, um, like I'm almost about to finish uh, one of the videos on like uh, uh, house furnitures and stuff, like in vocabularies that you might need around the house. And maybe like when you are like, just like, because like when you are renting a house, you are like just looking around and see if the world is nice. And you see if there's a hole somewhere, if like you're going to have like a furniture apartment, maybe you don't like the sofa, maybe you want to ask about like uh, the washing machine, maybe you want to ask about something like this. So you would need vocabulary for this. 
So I am like creating like, um, you know, a video on that, like I'm almost done with it. Uh, so yes, just like the kind of vocabulary that you might need, like when you are like renting a house or like just buying a house or buying anything, it's going to help you, you just like, um, you know, um, having like, like things about it. Can you make a video when you go to a spa or hammam? Like a video on spa or hammam? Uh, they are like, uh, they don't really accept to make like videos or like having like a video like inside the hammam because there is like naked people. <laughs> so like it's, not, it's forbidden like to record inside the hammam. Ex ex like except if it's like a individual one. So if I went to individual one, I can do that. But if it was like, a, no, I mean words. To say yes, absolutely, yes, absolutely, and great that you give me the idea. I've never thought of it. There's like a lot of like uh, words and vocabularies that you would need in hammam, and also the, you know, the the, the things that we use. For example, sabon bridi is like, uh, you know, the brown sabon that we use, and also you know the the romides that like women use there inside the hammam because most of girls when they go to hammam like once a week or like. Um, you know, twice a month or something like that, depending on individual, like some people like love to go hammam like often. And uh, we actually like, for me, I stay in hammam probably like for three hours. And what do we do in hammam? Like uh, why it takes two, three hours? Because we do like natural remedies and it takes time. And if I'm with my friends, we just like talk about everything, about life, about like any different topic. Some people stay in hammam for five hours because there is like no time limit. When you pay like for hammam and you enter hammam, you can stay the whole day. No one is going to talk with you until like why you are late and you have to hurry. So uh, some people like go for like two hours, like depend in, if you are in hurry and all of that. But when you have time and you have your day off and I just like go, I take my time. And it's like, you feel like, like a new people, like a new person. And it's like great experience. Of course, I'm going to try to make a video on that and just like uh, explaining and you know, just like maybe talking about also like remedies, like because we just do like natural remedies about henna, about like uh, everything like Moroccans use. And of course, like the words and the things that you would need to use and uh, the, the woman that helps you, what's her name, for example, um, the woman that like uh, like help you if you want like the, to don't have like a man by yourself and someone help you to scrub and all of that. There is like a name for it. And um, uh, I'm going to say like how much you will have to pay for it. And of course, like when it's like a, a normal hammam, it's very cheap. Uh, and if it's like, you know, the fancy, luxurious one, of course, it's like extra. But like the hammam that I go to, I actually don't get help from anyone. I don't pay for the woman like to help me with that, like anything. Uh, it's just like I pay like, um, okay, so how much? So for me, it's like 13 dirhams. And I get like to stay there like as much as I want. It's like really cheap, you know? And some people, they have like cheaper than that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, yes, uh, this is a great sentence. This is why you don't get the woman that like scrub. Because this crop like very hard and uh, sometimes like it literally hurts the skin. Like you, you we, we just like and, and, and like and there's like some funny sentences and you can tell her like for example I don't want like uh, I just want like to get rid of like the dead skin, not getting for of like getting rid of my skin because sometimes this crop too hard that it's like uh, hurting like the, the the skin, which is crazy. So of course like yeah I can I would do like for example. Uh, don't scrub too hard, or it's like it hurts, or it's like obshuya, <laughs> and scrubbing, for example, hokib shuya, hokiliya shuya avad. It's like scrub me like uh, a little bit, like for example, not like too harsh, um, you know, just like little things like this. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Yes, like that, but in a nice way. <laughs> yes, these are great sentences. 
Yes, and and uh, there is like some places like because so most of the time I go with my sister, so she hit me with my back because I can't like you know scrap my back, and I would tell like, oh it's like over there oh yes yes there like that area <laughs> so I'm going to put this sentence it's going to be funny, I mean like it's same for men over here like because there is like a hammam for men as well it's like same there is like a guy who helps with like um um you know to be scrapped and stuff so yes. So yes, do you guys have any more questions? I'll be happy to answer them if I go. Hal wahad, tawra adi fi al-qawwa. Yani fi al-hawma diyali zama ftit wan. Tawra huwa ashrad drahm safi. It depends on like what kind of breakfast you have in. I I normally don't go to the coffee for breakfast when I was like studying and go early. I go to um, patisserie. So patisserie. So Pratisha is like very cheap. So I do get like Hasha as much as I want Hasha. I normally go two dirhams or like three dirhams of Hasha. So the coffee in like a patisserie is like cheap. It's like, uh, it could be between like uh, five dirhams to like seven dirhams depending on like Al Halma. You know, it's like depending on the street. And if you want like Milui or like, you know, similarly to the Moroccan like kind of bread, but not bread, is that I can get it like for like two dirhams and a half. So it depends. Then, like, if I want like, to put like fromage on it, like fromage is like one dirham. So the total is going to be between like ten dirham, fifteen dirhams, depending on the kind of like um, breakfast you want. But if you go to like good restaurants, it's going to be expensive. So depending on like what restaurant or what coffee you are in. Um, so I try different places. So. <laughs> It's going to be the same. It's like tin drums. It's the same. It's the same price. I think in Tetwar is like very cheaper than um, that than over here. Like in Sali, in Sali, like near next to Rabat is like cheap, but in Rabat it's expensive. You go in like to find like this price just like in Medina and or like you know just like the small places, but not like um in other places. Because already like a raif is like two dirhams and a half, like or two dirhams depending on like where you get it from. And um, you know, this perform measure is not like too much. So yes, it's going to be just like uh, 10 dirhams. Oh no, it's not about like haib or something. Like I don't believe that, um, it's like uh, something like uh, bad. Like sometimes, like yes, like the poor areas, like they are like cheaper, of course, because they can't afford like expensive things. And it's about like location because like uh, people who have, have like uh, restaurants or like coffees in a nice area, they pay like a lot of money for rent and uh, for electricity and all of that. But so you know, for poor areas, it's like very really cheap areas. So of course, they have to make it cheaper and. Uh, like yeah it's like same like for example in this place it's not like a very poor area but still like we get like things like cheaper than in Rabat it's just about like uh, the city like more than the neighbors for example in Sali it's like cheaper way cheaper than Rabat and Rabat like uh, I go to different coffees when I was teaching like one-on-one on my lessons like in like real life like and going to coffee and stuff some coffees are cheaper than one. Sometimes I get the coffee with seven dirhams, sometimes 10 dirhams in certain like coffee. Sometimes it's like 20 dirhams, like just the coffee. Uh, in like Agdan, the place where I said it's like very expensive, is like uh, between 15 dirhams to like uh, 20 dirhams. So that's how expensive it does, like not more than that. Like I don't, it's like that's like the extreme. Of, of course, like um, uh, Starbucks in Rabat is expensive. It's same prices as like outside in the state and um, it's same prices like outside. It's like or literally the same prices. So, so it's, of course, it's very expensive. Starbucks is very expensive in Morocco because it's the same price as in the States and uh, Moroccans don't get paid that like, good. But see people go to uh, Starbucks a lot. So I don't know. 
so yes guys do you have any more questions that's like what's weird like honestly like i still don't understand um for example mcdonald's starbucks you know the um, the places that like seem like and like as in america and europe they are the same prices as in like abroad and still in morocco they don't get paid well so that's like crazy for me yeah i mean like i i i get surprised it's just like um because moroccans just don't get paid well like honestly it's not as the same as like in the states or anything and they are like paying for the same prices at outside it's like just like super weird like super weird honestly but like i mean like no one forced them like to buy like a starbucks or anything they do they do that so yeah well after my last translation i'm sure the words uh, the other words i don't understand is bad too so i don't have any more questions to it i'm sure the other word i don't understand is bad too so <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually it was bad. I was like honestly like thinking, okay, how am I going to explain that without saying any bad word? How am I going to explain that? <laughs> Sometimes like so like really hard to explain like some certain words. <laughs> it's so funny. And the thing is like, okay, so for you, even if you said it, you didn't like feel it's like very bad. Uh, but for me, it's like still bad. Like even like when I like type it down, I still like, I can't, I'm, it's like hard to pronounce because I know it's like bad, but like it's same like for like uh, other like language speakers. So if I want to say something in English bad, it doesn't sound like very bad to me because it's not my language. But in Darish, I would like never say it. <laughs> but I think like, uh, you know, bad words are like just good to understand so that like if you just like hear them or someone like said like you are, you know, something and you will just like understand like, uh, because some people like they just like they would say it with a smile because they think that you're not going to understand, but it's good to surprise them and know what they are saying. Okay, if you guys don't have a question, then I'm going just like to finish the live and I uh, see you tomorrow, inshallah. If you have, um, if you want me to talk about any topic, please comment it down below. Sorry, I have to. If you want me to talk about any topic, you can always like comment in the comment section. Okay, and also there is like, um, if you go to um, my channel, you will find community. So the word community, you know, will find channel, you will find like uh, my homepage, you will find playlists, you will find like community. During this community is the place where I put like um, announcements and when I'm live, when I'm going to do something. So I'm going to post there often because not everyone have like Facebook or WhatsApp or, you know, Instagram. So if you just want to look for information, go there. If you want to put suggestion, you can also like write it down there. And yes. And you have also grab a WhatsApp group. <laughs> yes, and of course, there is like a WhatsApp group or it's like mixed with guys and uh, girls, like they are like talking about different topics and all of that. It's good. Uh, that's like it's about language and sharing just like ideas and all of that. And, um, you know, and for there is another one just for girls, like who want like just to be with girls and ask them like personal questions. So that's like uh, we do have that as well. If you want like feed like a uh, WhatsApp group, I do have one as well. Like will we just like learning um, really like um, everything. Should make a series on words which can have different pronunciation, one good and one bad. Yes, that would be good. There is like, because there is like a very similar words, um, like, um, that like they are like the same, but they have different meaning. And there is like words that if you pronounce them differently, you will have like bad meaning. 
And uh, yeah, I'm going to copy that like so I will remember it. Okay, do you guys have any other suggestions? So what do you are what do you really need like um, for conversation purpose and stuff? Yeah, like frog and neighbor. Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, the frog uh but, but we say like Zarul Far. Uh it's not the frog, it's um uh, what's called uh, is the mouse is like far and the other one is jar. Frog is like um, I, I was like this was about thinking about um, dip that is um, or is not jrana. Okay, I'm, it's like. Um, so I know like the expression that you are looking for, but it's not the frog. Uh, the, I forgot the frog in Darija. It like does not it, like jar. Like it's either um, okay. I'm going to write it. Jar. Well, far. Jirana. No, no. It's like jiran. Jiran or firan. That's what you are saying. Jiran will firan or like jar will far. Jar will far. So jiran and firan. And firan are like the, the big mouses. Like, um, well, I know that they have a specific name. I just like forgot. So that's like the firan. It's not like the big, also like the small one. Like it's just like the small. Jiran will firan, which mean like, um, it's like they are like annoying, just like as the mouses. In the house. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes, the rat. Yes. But also like the mouse, because like you know, the mouse is like just like when they are like in the house, if they enter the house, they are going to annoy you and they're going to bite stuff and then they're going to hear voices and all of that. So they are just like like a little annoying and you just like they are like just annoying you. So when we say jar or far or like jiran or firan, mostly we say it's in plural which mean like neighbors and like mouses or like rats because they are like annoying just as the same. So that's like what the expressions mean. So if, for example, if you someone to do like a kidayr dark jida, how are you in your new house? And you will see like jiran or firan, it's going to mean like, uh, it's just like jiran is like, just like as mouses and just like, or like good, it's mean like it's very annoying. Uh, Jiran al qadam khata. You have to put qadam, not the I, is the A. <laughs> it's very funny that you like, uh, you, I don't like where did you find it, like, but I haven't heard it in a while because I did not use this as I don't have like, um, I don't have a bit bad neighbors. Actually, they are bad, but I don't care. I don't like care about like, um, uh, you know, the, the loud voices and stuff. Not anymore, for now. <laughs> So yes, we do say jiran with jiran. Yes, okay guys. <laughs> I mean like you might have like a, you, you would have like, you might, if you are like, you will have the best neighbors that they are very caring and all of that. Or you might like find like some neighbors that are like just crazy and annoying and all of that, which is very common. But you can say it in other situations. No, because Jiran is neighbors. So you can't like use it. It's like about like neighbors. No, no, we can't put it to it because it's like the word neighbor is Jiran is neighbors. So it's about neighbors. And uh, like for situation, no. For situation, we would like use just like normal like adjectives or anything else. 
It's about the situation with the neighbors. It's like an, in the house. For example, if like I'm having, yes, yani firan qadam, qadam khatar. Yes, absolutely, khatar. Okay, so I wasn't uh, there in the beginning for it. Oh, that's okay. Because Jiren is neighbors, Jiren and, and Firan are like mouses. Uh, it could be also about like grades. So we, we talk about like the situation which is like you are in ha your house, but you are annoyed either by neighbors or mouses or like you just comparing like both of them. They are like just the same. Oh, you you have to say Firan Qadam, the old rates. Firan Qadam Khata. It's not Jiran. Jiran is like neighbors, and Firan is like rats or like mouses. And the rest, the big ones, like we call them like Tobats, Toba, or like Tobats. That's like rates. And the mouses, like. Um, so in the, the, the expression, we mean both of them, but we use the word like mouses, like uh, Firan, but like it could be like both, it depends. I mean, I'm, I don't get scared of like the mouses, like uh, Firan, because I think they are like cute. I mean, they are annoying, but they are still cute. But like the rights, like the big one, they are like scary. <laughs> so we call them top beds. And this say like the tobat, the, the rates is like the female, right? And um, the, the mouses are the male. So that's what we say in Morocco. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. I never looked, but <laughs> yes, that's what Moroccan saying. Okay, guys, so I see you tomorrow, inshallah. Uh, make sure to like this video if you liked it. If you have any suggestions, you can always like post it in the comment section. You can write it in the community part, like in like, um, you know, just like my Facebook, my channel, sorry. And yeah. If you run and the and the addy, well, I can hear on them. Home of Hatar of La Beda, Spania. I haven't seen like Firan in a way. It's a different kind of animals. I have rats and rats and mouses and mouses. Yes, rats, like, uh, I, this is why I said, like, I said, like, in expressions, they are just, like, using it. Like, uh, they are, like, using it to mean, like, um, okay, so the expression is, like, jiran. Jiran will firan is mean, like, you know, just, like, neighbors and mouses. So, mouses are mouses. And um, for, like, uh, rats, it's, like, we call them top bats. Yeah, I mean, like, for us, like, <laughs> quite much. If you have, like, one of them, like, in the house, it's still, like, scary. But, like, I think in most of, um, uh, most Moroccans, they do have, like, mouse, like, mouses. Like, the mouses are, like, um, you, like, you might, like, find them. But they are still cute. I don't know if they are dangerous. But like, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I have to go actually. I'm a little bit tired. I, I need to eat. Uh, so yes, thank you for being here. And I see you inshallah tomorrow. And um, yes, I'm going to try my best like to finish like, uh, you know, just editing the video for like um, vocabulary for like furniture and stuff and uh, maybe creating another one like during this week as well like any other video so i see you soon and take care assalamu alaikum and halkom mubrok don't forget to drink tea moroccan tea atay maghribi bennana assalamu alaikum bye marib assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum kamlin like goodbye to all of you and i see you soon inshallah